Hey everyone, and welcome to the AT&T Business Carrier Update. Today, I wanna to go ahead and start diving into the Denver market. Now, why Denver? Well, we just heard about a carrier, HVH, about a 300 uh, power unit uh, carrier size, shut down in Denver, Colorado. They operated in about a 600 mile radius of the Denver area. But I wanted to talk about the Denver market itself and how it's changed over the last several months. Now, I'm not saying that this is why HVH shut down, but it did become a more difficult scenario over this summer. So behind me, I have the outbound tender volume index uh, yearly change and the inbound tender volume index yearly change. So what we're looking at is increasing inbound volumes in proportion to outbound volumes. Inbound volumes indicate that it is going to be a more consumer market. Denver is one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. That means there's gonna be a lot more people consuming goods. It doesn't necessarily mean there's gonna be a lot more production. So a lot of inbound coming into Denver, growing at about a 10.7% clip year over year on the inbound volume. Underneath it, outbound volumes only growing at about a 4.19% clip. So it's not matching up. For carriers, that's very difficult to manage because you have a lot more trucks entering the market versus leaving the market. An oversupply situation, suppressing rates. Now on the next map I wanna show you, this is the outbound, uh, this is the head haul index monthly change. So the head haul index is a combination of outbound volumes and inbound volumes. It is outbound volume, less inbound volume. The blues you see here on the map are the ones that have increasing outbound volumes in relation to inbound volumes. So those are gonna be positive uh, markets for carriers to go into. But this is the monthly change. This isn't an absolute value. So these blue markets are what have, they have changed into more outbound uh, heavy markets over the last 28 days or so. The red markets are the ones that have changed to a more inbound heavy uh, market. So Chattanooga still may be an, a nice positive head haul index, but it's not necessarily getting better. It's getting worse for carriers. Something that happened to Denver. It turned deeply red over the last year. Out here on the west, you can see Salt Lake City also getting negative. Uh, Fresno, the Fresno market is really popping. A secondary produce hit there. Uh, up here around Spokane, the Yakima Valley harvest increasing outbound volumes up there. And then right around the Midwest sector of the country, we've talked about this a lot, we've had a lot of reefer activity here over the last 28 days or so that have increased a lot of outbound volumes. That's gonna put increasing rate pressure up uh, coming into the la last part of the month. Improve your fleet's efficiency with AT&T Fleet Complete, a 4G solution for tracking vehicles and simplifying ELD compliance. AT&T Fleet Complete, delivering fleet solutions for every business.